this and this are your best friends. These two. Welcome to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you're a new subscriber, hi, my name is Vanel underscore V. Guys, I am literally waking up so late this Saturday. Let me just close it down with you guys. I, I honestly need to buy myself a tripod because what is this, honey? Like holding my camera with my hand is so uncomfortable. But anyway, today was meant to be a very productive day and it never became that. It's never gonna become that. But uh, my husband is coming back for just a few days. I'm so excited. I was so shocked when you told me because in my head, my husband's gonna be back in like many, 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 many years from now. But like when he was just like, oh no, I'm gonna come tomorrow. I was just like, so I'm gonna go to the shops and go get all the things that he likes and make his favorite meal and yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing I also really want to go because I have to go pick him up at the airport I want to go to Tiger Valley and go check out the new cotton on denim range because Sana, one thing about being big denim finding denim is a hiki haga I literally bought a blue jean or whatever you call it uh i bought a blue jean at thingy at h&m the other day i mean it fits but it's mad and comfortable so i'm just like you know what if cotton on is going to give us something that's comfortable let me go try it i'm also wearing my white set from unique i feel like i should actually get another one because it is a fraction of the price from the cotton on ones because this day i went to the cotton on in my area and with the intentions of buying obviously the denims because I'm, I'm just like I want to try it out and I feel like it would make a good TikTok and a good Instagram and um, they didn't have so I have to go to like an A store and I saw sets like this and Sana when I tell you that the set is like almost a thousand rand I was just like let's do it alone. This dude, I hope the jeans are not expensive because one thing about me, I'm not about to spend a thousand rand on a jean from Cotton On. I'm not doing that. I'm not. I don't do it at Zara. I won't do it at Cotton On. But um, I'm trying to make liver for me and my sister and just make food so we can quickly go to the shop. And also, guys, I put all the ingredients. Ah, guys, I forgot to tell you this. I feel like I'm talking so much. But I bought all the ingredients that make that little like iced coffee that I buy from the the store at the at the by the gym. When I tell you that I am excited, it's an understatement. I literally even asked them, I was like, please show me the protein powder that you use. And the guy showed me because he's not smart. And I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> Now it's my turn to make myself my favorite smoothie or coffee or iced coffee or protein coffee, whatever it is, without paying the money because that thing is mad expensive. It's like 70 Rand per pop. And I was looking at the protein part, I was like, three of these coffees buy me a big, I think one kg, if not two kg, of the protein powder. I was just like, let's do it. Let me go grab myself my own ingredients and make it at home. So that's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna drink this because my Coke addiction, not Coke, Coca-Cola addiction is, has caught up with me because Gimdala manja. So we're gonna start the day with this. Also, while we're still here, I wanted to show you these. I got these at Woolies the other day when I was going to buy groceries. Uh, I think, yeah, this is the Lazy Magoti Woody's collaboration. Uh, what's going on? Uh, I got these measuring spoons and measuring cups. They are silver. Uh, I kind of wish they were gold, but also like, when I see gold cutlery for a long time, it kind of gives me the ache. I don't know why, like I just actually, I thought I like gold cutlery but i actually don't like it does that make sense it kind of gives me the egg for some odd reason so 
I got this. This is really cute. It has like wood handles and it's written the lazy Magodi. This is really, really cute. I don't know what's going on with this camera, but yeah, that's what's happening. This is really cute. Maybe I should take a little Instagram picture. But yeah, uh, I'm waiting for my liver to defrost. Hopefully we don't get food poisoning because I kind of defrosted it yesterday. But I changed my mind and I ate KFC. I wanted to show you, in my last vlog, I went to, what you call it? I went to, can you please call that side video? This thing is making noise. Ugh. I went to the Me and B fashion show. It was cute and whatever. You guys know, I'm always getting free shoes. This is not sponsored, it's just gifted. Um, they gave me, okay, they asked me to pick and I picked these. Initially, I didn't pick these ones, but I didn't want to show you because I knew you guys were going to be mad at me. And lucky for you guys and my sister also because she was bullying me about my choice, those were not in stock. So I opted for these. I also just wanted these in the brown and the white, but I was like, you know what? The, the, the white little uh, fur thing is going to be disgusting by the end of winter and I just don't want to be part of that so I, was just, I opted for the black and I feel like these are so cute they are so cute also they are so comfortable and warm so I think I'm, I might do a little uh, story unboxing on my Instagreezy because these are so cute I'm literally in my buying shoes era. The amount of shoes I've ordered and bought, shocking. I'll show you though, guys. And um, yeah, I'm busy like loving these shoes. Let's try them on. These are so cute. I'm also wearing eyes, guys. Also like I'm obsessed with like platformy things because they make me feel tall. These are so cute. Ah, oh, they literally are going to be the perfect shoe for drop-offs and pick-up pickups. Also, like all the moms at my son's school wear eggs. I'm joking, but most of them. Um, so cute. So so cute. How cute are these? So cute. These are literally my <laughs> favorite thing. I don't know why I like them. I don't know what they're doing for me, but they're doing something. They are doing something for me, and I don't know what it is, but they're doing something. My husband can literally like drink it at one go. I wish I was bad, but I sip. <laughs> I struggle so much. Also, it tastes good for some odd reason. It's probably the orange juice, obviously. But it's good. I love it. Ah! I hope these are really good for us. Because I love them. And I've told myself that these are healthy. So they can't disappoint me. <laughs> My food is ready. Also, I have to go serve the princess Gersana because I can get him up what doing. I really want to put me on this. Should I? I? I think I should. It's a wearing my slippers. I couldn't resist. Let's go to the shop. I thought. Uh, what do you call it? Dessert for breakfast. Breakfast dessert. And this one was special. And I was like, you know what? I haven't had this in a long time. I'm gonna be crying in a few hours because of the pain this is gonna cause me. But you only live once, yes, son. 
chairs just go through it also today i'm giving european chic i'm giving it's cold and i put this outfit together but i didn't really put it together because i'm effortless <laughs> I look so cute. I nearly died. Ah! I nearly died on this hill last year. This is going to be the last time I'm having this. Last year. Ask about it, son. Yeah, I. I. Once you turn carry, you pull up on Just know, Hore, we are going down on a kohai. Guys, when I tell you that, me and my sister had a plan. Like we're gonna do this. We're gonna bang everything. By the time it's time to pick up my husband at the airport, everything will be done. Did I not lock the car keys and my phone in the car, son? I had to call a locksmith that was coming from another small town, son. I ended up cooking for my man because I was like, you know what? Maybe the key is saying something and it's saying you are someone's wife and that person is coming, so you better cook. Ended up cooking. We are only leaving now. How many hours later? An hour, two hours. Almost two hours later. <laughs> really? Yeah, An hour later, I guess, son. An hour later, siamba, but mm -hmm. it was an inconvenience financially, but time-wise, it was also an inconvenience, but not that bad of an inconvenience. So we're gonna go do some light shopping. Mina, guys, I want those cotton on jeans i don't know why i need them but i need them and i think my sister, you also want that no i want this other coat from h m so she wants a coat and i want jeans so that's what we're doing harry and him love joy joy funny actually before we leave so me and my sister went to that i don't know if you guys saw in my previous vlog we went to the me and b event so i was parked by like the entrance like literally by the entrance but let's say like there were four two parkings four parkings yeah like four parkings before where i was parked so there were still other parkings just right by the entrance but it was so dark and it was at night um we actually by the time we're leaving it was low shedding mm. so me and my sister are coming out it's me baba and my sister and i'm seeing like the same car like it was not the same exact car but it was the same car reversing for the from the parking that i presumed was ours sana i was just like <laughs> Why is someone reversing my car? I was just really, my sister is asking why I want to hold up. <laughs> she's like, she's like, I was ready. I was ready to We were so shocked. To that car. I was convinced, guys. I was just like, and the, the number plates were like similar. similar. I was just like, because I was like, so freaked out. I was so freaked out. and to find out it was not the car it was not it was not our car but it was just parked at a very similar parking and because it was low shading they were parked like four cars or two cars away from us so that that that's what happened guys they go hectic you guys it was so hectic <laughs> hey we were so freaked out but yeah that's a funny thing that happened so let's go now you owe me you owe me I'm back home. It's time for me to go to bed. See you guys tomorrow. I will tell you what I got up to. Gomso. Saboya Gomso. Good morning. Hi guys. 
I feel like the sun always messes up. But hi guys, hope you guys are doing well. Why is it saying 20 minutes? Oh, as I was saying guys, I'm sorry, my lens was not clean and it was bothering me. But I hope you guys are doing well. It's been raining the whole morning. The kids are not at school because one thing about me, I will not buy send my kids to school. <laughs> it was just too cold guys, honestly speaking. And it's a public holiday in a few days. And I know usually around these times, like... They're really not doing anything serious, uh, but they'll go to school tomorrow. The sun will be out. Anyway, uh, my husband and I are going to like a garden shop. What is it called? Strawballs or whatever it is. We're going to look for, we're going to Agri and Strawballs to look for, what you call it? Uh, we're going to look for hedges because we need to kind of fix the hedges situation. And I'm also thinking of planting lavender and also we're going to look for stones. We're going to look for a lot of gardening, landscaping things. Uh, so that's what we're doing. And then, what else? I'm hungry. I'm wearing my, what do you call this? A jumper from Unique Guys. I'm doing a campaign with these people this is really nice and it's really affordable you guys saw me unbox that in my previous vlog and oh is it this vlog the previous vlog yeah 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 and then uh my trusted zara belt i'm wearing my poetry pleather uh thingies what you call them pleather jeans or whatever they're called and i'm wearing my white gucci prince towns um carrying my bag my Zara trench, not Zara, my mango trench, just so that if yeah, banda guys, I am set. But let's go, let's go, guys. I'm I'm literally savoring all these moments that my husband is here because he's leaving like in a few days. So I kind of dumped my little sister for like not dumped her really, like not in that way, but like I'm not spending as much time with her and i'm spending all my time with my husband and i'm sure she understands what the hell it's like proper winter here can you see the mist and it's only six o'clock but anyway let's go shopping Anyway, darlings, I'm back from the gym. My sister's counting me for wearing my jacket in the house, but it's very cold. Winter just came on us, like, it's winter now. We never even got a chance to transition to winter. Do you think we got a chance? My hair looks so mad, but I think I'm just gonna go back to my wig girl era, Sana, because, yeah, no, not happening. Oh, what am I making? I'm trying to make a coffee smoothie. My sister is drinking coffee. And every day we are complaining, guys. But Ude Mpasa, every day in anxiety. Every day she's complaining about her anxiety. But there she is making coffee. I'm trying this. I want to try this. I want to use this for my... Is it a cooking? Can I use it to roast? Is it a cooking bag? She can pull. Sana and Diaz, I just bought it. Heat add to fry. So you can't marinate or use to marinate kebabs or wings before brine. Dip crisp battered and deep fried chicken or prawns. So, yeah, so I can use it. I can. I think I can. Sana. So I don't have to use the whole thing. I hope it's good. It's this honey and sriracha sauce from Woolies. What should I do? I'm hungry. Okay, let me make my smoothie first then. What time is your lunch appointment? At one.
still waiting guys this is how the sauce looks i didn't pour everything i still have quite a lot left test as to bah do i still need to go joey you celebrate <laughs> 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 I need to do a taste test to see. Oh, it's better. It's better. Mm. Too good. The coffee is not as strong. The coffee is not as strong. Um, mm. I need a stronger coffee. But it hit. That's me saving so many rand. Every day. Look at me. Guys, Athena wants me to just do a lash lift and call it a day. And there is no one who can convince me not to do lashes. I, I can't. I, I cannot live with lashes at this point. I'm back home. My lashes took forever. But anyway, I wanted to show you my food. I wanted to show you this grain, guys. So when I was growing up, the lady that used to work at my house, my grandmom's house, used to like bringing this thing and she used to call it the hobby. And wait. So I used to be obsessed with this thing growing up, guys. I was so obsessed with this thing growing up. But when I grew up, I forgot, like, I not forgot about it, but like, it, it was such a, I don't know how to explain it, but it was such a thing that was like in my heart because I loved it so much. And like, when I was growing up, I kept on searching for this grain. Initially, I thought it was quinoa, but I was like, no, man, this thing does not taste like quinoa. And like, I was trying so many grains, like I tried so many grains. And then the other day I went to Woolies and I saw something written, I don't know, splat or splat or something. And I found this thing. And when I tell you, it literally tastes like the I am so happy in my heart. Like, you happy. So I'm about to go enjoy my food. I'm probably going to go sleep because I'm tired. Morning, guys. I'm looking a little bit crazy because it's a drop off and I'm going to put my hair in the car. But I wanted to show you these uh, my kids love these and they don't have too much sugar and my younger son is obsessed with sugar so i just fool him with these and i also wanted to show you these crocs that i bought for them these are boots uh for rainy days it's not gonna rain today but they're demanding to wear them so this is what i bought that day when i went to the mall with my husband uh, but let's go drop off because i'm looking like a crackhead or whatever Diving the camera, guys. I get to be king, but I'm back from gym. I'm about to make my smoothie, and my lashes are so long. <laughs> I'm about to make a smoothie, and I think some eggs, but I put some. For my husband and my sister. But there's an extra one for me if I want it, honestly. Like, I don't even want to lie to you. There's an extra one for me. But, yeah, let me make my, um, let me make my smoothie. I kind of wanted to make protein pancakes, but I generally don't have the energy. And I also want to, I also want to shoot a TikTok, Reels, and also,
that I've already done my nighttime skincare routine. <laughs> I actually went to the shops to go buy. I, my intention was to buy salmon, but there was no salmon. We paid Lily and I just opted for trout, even though it's not the same, but it's the same, like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so I got this because I wanted to make this. Um, and I went to clicks, guys. My intention was to go buy shower gel for my sister. I ended up buying all the things that I don't need to buy. So I got this, these. You'll know that I write for these. These are the sanitary pads that I use. And then I also got panty liners. I don't really use panty liners like that, but I feel like I need them now. Uh, and I also got this, guys. This is so weird. Why am I sharing this? <laughs> Too much info. But I got tampons, the mini ones, because now that I am working out, guys, now that I'm working out, I feel like... Uh, I feel like I don't want to be this person while I am working out. It's actually like so, I don't know. It's just, uh, no, I don't want to be. So I was like, I'm just going to wear tampons when I am working out. And then I got a shower gel. Sorry guys. Um, as I was saying, I got the shower gel. And then I got this one because it's winter now and I, uh uh, it's winter now and I need a moisturizing shower gel. So I think my sister will pick from either or. But those are the ones that I usually buy. And then I bought this also because one thing about me, I double cleanse my face and I double cleanse my body. I usually start with this and then go in with the shower gel. And then I bought this body oil. I was watching Miss um, Mop's YouTube video and she was raving about this. And I was like, you know what, let me get it because now that it's winter, I'm always so, so dry. And I also got a couple of these because this is my favorite unarm. Been using it for years. I actually put Vongai on this unarm and she loves it. I use the gel. There's also a solid one. And. The people who complain about this underarm messing up the their clothes is because you are putting your underarm too late after you've showered. Does that make sense? So you need to wash, put on your lotion, Please. put on your underarm, brush. Please. Yeah, you can have it. Brush your teeth, look for your clothes, wait for the underarm to dry before you put on your clothes, basically. Um, Guys, as I said, my kids are obsessed with sweets, especially Vicky's obsessed with sweets. And I feel like this is helping me out because now I'm not really worried about him eating too much sugar. Apparently, it only has less than a, a half a teaspoon. As I was saying, uh, wait for your underarm to dry. And then what else did I get? I also got this, guys. I'm actually gonna, we're gonna speak about my skincare tomorrow morning because I want to give you an extensive, hey, like, in depth skincare situation because you guys really want to know what I do to my skin. I actually don't really do much, but I do much. Does that make sense? But we'll talk about it tomorrow. But I also got this because I finished, and this is probably my fourth bottle, if not first. What else did I do? Yeah, that's all. That's all. Ah! Um, no. Yeah. You Let me cook. One. I can. What are you guys talking about? Let me cook quickly. Guys, I'm using the sauce again from yesterday. I'm using it on the fish. 
it is honey and sriracha i think we spoke about this i didn't have to say it again so i'm just going to marinate the fish a little bit with it and then i'm going to cook with it because it needs to finish and my fish burned I'm so mad but it's the skin it's not the actual fish it's just the skin and nobody's eating skin so yeah as I was in my burning era today not having a very good cook day but um, smashed potatoes broccolini carrot and some trout uh, this hopefully is good because it does not look great. But anyway, guys, good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Guys, my sister literally wants nothing to do with us, and she's the one who's always bullying me to post on YouTube. But anyway, I just finished washing again, uh, and I shaved my face before I did my hair. And I actually was like, you know what? Since you guys are always asking me about my skincare, let me just share my skincare with you. I literally grabbed everything that I can remember and I brought it here so we can speak about it. So since you guys are so interested and wanna know how I get my skin to look like this, let's talk about it. I just shaved my face. I do shave my face with the dangerous razor, guys. The double-sided razor, razor, please don't use that one. I do shave my face not very often, but I shave my face when I need to shave my face. And I'm rushing through this because we're taking the kids to the movies, so let's get into it first of all i do not have acne prone skin but my skin is very problematic it is dry and i don't know if you can see this but like especially around winter i get like these really painful pimples they there is a scientific name or a medical name for them but i forgot but that's not important but my skin does become scaly dry and very uncomfortable during winter so what do we do so let's get into the cleansers i have three cleansers i use a gentle cleanser that i use in the morning when i feel like i need to cleanse my face and i have two cleansers that i know will fix my problems so the first one is this one when i had my worst breakout, i found out that 
the reason why I was having this breakout, this breakout, and I was having these little pimples that were super painful, had to do with something has to do with in, that had to do with something that's in my hair. So apparently, I don't know if it's the dent draft or the germs from my hair comes onto my face and basically breaks me out. Basically, I had to get a cleanser that has salicylic acid, and when I tell you this fixed my problems this and benzic actually i forgot to grab benzic in my in my cupboard but this and benzic fixed my problems in days so i have this this is my first cleanser and i alternate my cleansers i don't use the same cleanser every day i only use the same cleanser that is a gentle cleanser every day in the morning but at night i have two cleansers that i alternate between and it's this one and this one hi you know i'd say king if possible look at elena king that's on you my darling <laughs> this i'm i'm not going to be talking too much on this because i know all the the uh the the, the the what do you call them the dermatologists of the internet are going to be speaking too much but this also fix your problems and this is the only thing i've used from this range this is the only thing that i've used from this product line and if you don't know this, what this is sana i cannot help you further and i don't want to say it because people are going to want to find problems on my page but this also is the other thing that fix my problems and i've never used anything else besides this from this range and i trust and believe in this right and then the other cleanser i really like when it comes to my um morning cleansers i'm not really very finicky all i'm looking for is a gentle and um super hydrating cleanser i was using the V one in the blue in the blue cap uh but it finished and then i got this one in the in the press uh what you call it in my in apr drop because i was working with l'oreal this also has hyaluronic acid and i've been using this one and honestly i love it it's very hydrating and um i feel like it's really good you should try it out for me this is very hydrating and i they paramisela also if you're scared to use this I think try this one this one is more of a fancy one and um i've also been trying this one really but like i know if it's a woman over my dear keep up my job anyway well, then we're done with the cleansers right we're done with the cleansers and then we're gonna move to serums so I don't know how many times I've raved about the serum on my social media page. I don't know how many times I've told you about the serum, but if you have hyperpigmentation, if you have hyperpigmentation and you don't know what you to do and you've tried everything and you've gone to the dermatologist and she just finishing your money and not giving you results, this and this are your best friends. These two and a spf so i use this you heard i use this this is actually new i don't know if yeah i think i did i showed you yesterday i got this this is what i got i got it today did i get it today but i just got this and this is what i use i use it i've used it so many times i've bought it i've repurchased it like four times and i honestly strongly believe in this product and it's really good so that's the serum i use during the day and also because i i am dry i will try put in a hyaluronic acid but i'm not that pressed like hi, I, hyaluronic is super important for my skin but i feel like at this point my skin is quite hydrated if that makes sense i feel like i've controlled the the dryness of my skin but when i kind of want to like mask my face or like drench my face with serum i will use this this hyaluronic acid i also have many other hyaluronic acids but right now i'm using this one because it came in a pr drop and it just made sense and i actually really love this product and then at night I will use this. Initially, I wanted to buy the Estee Lauder um, serum, night serum that everyone loves. And then, I forgot to him him. 
apparently this is a dupe and i said you know what i'm not gonna buy a serum for a thousand rand i'm just gonna go for this one and when i tell you that she is as good because i had a little sample of the of the sd and when i tell you that this is as good I ain't lying, I ain't lying. So I use this. And then, actually at night, after using this, I top it with like a little sample oil that I got from um, Sisley, actually. I got a Sisley sample, like an oil. I use it uh, just to, you know, keep my face hydrated. That's literally that's all that's what i do and then when my eyes are feeling dry and usually when i have makeup when i'm when i'm gonna put makeup on i use this this is an eye cream this is a fancy one from l'oreal i also got this in the press i use it obviously because i'm a dry girl uh and for me hyaluronic acid is honestly has literally saved my skin it's taken my skin from a five to literally a ten and then when it comes to moisturizers guys uh she fixed my life her but i i warn you if you are using this moisturizer i don't know if it's for the body or for the face but it worked that's what i can tell you it worked on my face it did wonders for my face even for my husband's face um this is really good but i never use it when i'm putting makeup on because it makes my makeup it like it just makes my makeup perform very badly so i don't use this when i'm having i have makeup on and then during the day i will religiously trench myself in this i believe in spf i think spf is is if you really just feel like your skin has problems first get yourself spf and then see if your skin really does have problems and then the other important thing that I forgot to mention is that I double cleanse. The same way I double cleanse my body, I first wash my body with Dettol soap and then I'll use a fancy shower gel. It's the same way I double cleanse my face. Not every day, but very much important when I have makeup. I double cleanse and I've been using this for years, guys. Like, you know, about five years in Lulile. Uh, and if you want a cheaper dupe, which is not really cheap, but it's also cheap, uh, you can get the Pons one. It's actually the same thing. It's honestly the same thing. You have to go and Sabella. So, but I changed my face washing tool to this. And ever since, my face has never broken out or anything. But I need to go. And also, guys, when it comes to my face, I do not touch my face. I do not pop any pimples. I do not if i was putting lotion on my body i wash my face i wash my hands before putting on my skin stuff like i'm very specific with my face when it comes to my hair like now you see i'm wrapping my hair if there's any product that's gonna drip on my face i wipe i do not wash my hair in the shower because i do not want any product of my hair like my conditioner my shampoos dripping on my face I just I'm very specific and I don't want anything but my face stuff to touch my face and I think that's how I prevent a lot of breakouts but literally this is what I do my skincare is so simple yet I feel like it's very effective no? and i've seen wonders with my skin since i've made the changes because one thing about me i used to clinique this that i wanted you know like really fancy smanchy expensive stuff and it kind of did not work like honestly and also like i just keep up with my face with my face routine guys i actually keep up i mean i'm not doing i also don't have a lot of steps if that makes sense so that if that makes sense oh this is really sticky today because i feel like when you have a hundred steps yeah dig but that's it guys that's literally it um so let's be quick because the movie is starting in a few oh my god the movie is starting in a few minutes and i'm still home so 
Let's go. Guys, the car is so full. Luna. <laughs> I am back home. I literally just shot content that I had to shoot. One thing about that campaign that I'm doing that I just shot. Mm -mm -mm. That campaign drained me. Kikupa links up with thing. When you see me posting content, I don't want to say the name. But that campaign drained me and i need you guys to support me and enter that competition because kosiami wow i in your feeling you know this is something in your feeling that's that campaign but i want to show you i want to cotton on guys i want to go buy the jeans that everyone is raving about on the internet and cotton on then promise us they promised us that they made jeans for thick girls i went to so many cotton ons guys when i tell you that i went to cotton on in the mall that we have here they said oh no we don't have it because it's a small mall no a small cotton on it's not a flagship store so i understood i was like you know what uh they said maybe try tiger valley tiger valley will have then i was like you know what let me just also just try Stellenbosch and see if Stellenbosch has Stellenbosch didn't have which doesn't make sense because like I'm assuming Stellenbosch might be very busy because of students didn't find like Stellenbosch uh, I didn't go to Tiger Valley because I like was kind of rushing to go pick up my husband so <clears throat> I went to Canal no did I go to Tiger Valley guys I actually think I did go to Tiger Valley and Tiger Valley was like no we don't have it go to Canal Walk that's when I wanted to fight I honestly wanted to fight I actually did go to Canal to Tiger Valley and they did not have it at Tiger Valley so I went to Canal Walk and when I got to Canal Walk ah no then the people at Adidas told me that there's a because I've been looking for Sambas um and they said no go to adidas waterfront while i was at canal walk actually because the adidas people called me said go to adidas waterfront they have a size four in the samples that you want when i got to waterfront fitted i fitted the shoe and when i tell you that the fall was so painful and i was like by the time winter ends i'm going to have a con so i'm not i didn't take the shoes left the shoes luckily actually those shoes were for someone else so i was just like you know what there's no point because at some point i was like let me fight and try get these shoes but i was just like gizo and a counselor and that's not my portion actually i don't want to be uncomfortable so i was like it's fine like i'm not really pressed there's also a pair of shoes that i'm looking to get that will last me longer than a samba in terms of uh, I don't know durability wise, but in terms of just like the style, fine. Then went to the cotton on waterfront, which is supposed to be the flagship. I'm I'm assuming that like that is flagship. When I got there, first of all, guys, when we get in there, the guy is like, "Hi, nanas." I'm like, let me not take it serious, like. I get it, cotton is a young people's shop, but like if I'm gonna go there, I need you to be professional. I'm just like, so I'm asking him like, do you guys have, she's like, no, try online. 
uh, I'm just like, isn't this meant to be a flagship store? Like, where are the jeans? Then, after picking my husband up from the airport, we went back to Canal Walk and we found them at Canal Walk. And the gentleman there was so helpful. The Zulu guy who works at Cutting On Canal Walk, very, very helpful. Uh, so I got the white ones. I saw these ones on Boyd's and they were banging on Boyd's. And she sent me her size details. Uh, she got a 14, uh, let me show you the size. Uh, 14, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know the sizes, as long as it fits me, I don't care. But I got these and in this bloom, and it's the wide, yeah, it's the curvy boot cut. They also have a straight, straight and a skinny. Honestly, from the straight and this one, there really isn't much of a difference, but the straight ones for me have more elasticity, like they are more uh, stretchy compared to these curvy ones. These ones are stretchy, but they're not as, as stretchy. And the biggest size they had in store was this size, which is a 14 Australia, 10 USA, 42 Euro, 44 BR set. I don't know what that is. But basically, this was the biggest size. And I was like, that's not fair because me and my sister's intention was actually to go buy. My sister's probably like a size, if not two sizes bigger than me. I'm sure a size. And she didn't find a size and I was just like, so much for saying. I mean, the flariness is cute. Like, they are cute and they are such a cute color. And they're almost comfortable. Like, they're almost comfortable. I don't know how to explain it. But if I was still 92 kgs, I was not getting a size in these jeans. That's one thing for sure. Or else I was going to be mad and comfortable. Like they're cute and I mean they're really nice like I'm not gonna lie but is it giving inclusive no I don't know I don't know what to say guys but I mean, are they, they are quite affordable I think they were like six much for jeans in my head i was like cotton was gonna be making us pay 500 um a thousand rand for these jeans they are 683 which is quite pricey but it's not that pricey but it is pricey honestly but they're nice i wish actually they came out with a straight leg with a raw hair him that was the same but these are not that they are not that comfortable i mean they are cute. They do hug you around the waist. There isn't much of a gap, like, there really isn't much of a gap like you usually would get when it comes to denim. I don't know if you can see, there is a gap, but it isn't much. And it kind of is cinching me on the waist. But if I have another burger, Sana, I'm getting acid reflux. Jenga manch. But they're cute, Shim. They're really cute. I think when I come back, I'm going to show you my H&M ones and show you that there really isn't much of a difference. But I'm really into the white leg thing. Anyway, these are quite long. I don't know if I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to tailor them because uh, I'm that girl who wears heels now. So I'm probably just going to keep them like this. I don't know. I'll, I'll, these are confirm, but I probably will just get them hemmed up I got manage I also so guys as you know my husband has been working out of town he hasn't been around he's actually leaving in like a few days but my husband smells like this and I and I, I was on the internet and I saw this thing is unisex and I'm like you know what when my husband puts this thing on he smells really scrumptious and I'm like if I can't move into his skin and live under his skin and like just be a permanent resident in his body why don't i smell like him to get it i'm like why don't i smell like him so i got this this is actually quite old not very old but quite old this is the byredo uh what is it called salier perfume it smells like 
it smells like you know i don't know how it smells like it smells like honey and leather it smells it's it's not very masculine but it's very like i don't know how to explain fragrances honestly because i'm not that much into fragrances so yeah it smells really good though it really does smell good so i was like you know what if i can move inside his body i might as well smell like him so i just added this to the perfumes uh, i'm trying to take it out oh she's so pretty i think Komoto also has one. I saw it in her recent vlog when she was packing her stuff. I think she also has one. This is stunning. It honestly is. It smells so good. She is beautiful. She really is. She is that girl. I actually have to go to poetry as in Guamanje because I am invited to poetry, to a poetry event, and I'm going to, they're going to dress me. So I have to go and shop today. Uh, okay, me, okay, me, going to events and getting dressed. <laughs> guys, sing fiki ile, sing fiki ile, guys. Can you believe this is me? This is me getting dressed by a brand that I actually love and wear and have been manifesting to work with. And actually a brand that is so me. And actually some of the things that I want to show you are from poetry. I'll show you when in my other vlog because I need to end this vlog guys. I honestly need to end this vlog. Yeah, let's see. If I have time, I'll show you. But if I don't, I'll show you in my next vlog. But over and above anything, guys, I actually need to go. I actually need to go because it's late and my kids are going to school tomorrow. Guys, my lavenders are in! Uh, I wish I could show you the whole driveway, but that is not safe. Uh, but um, they're going to be like huge hedges i'll show you like pictures that i got from like inspo pics that i got from insta not instagram pinterest but can't wait guys before i go to the mall i wanted to try this thing that i bought Lebon? my husband has already drank some what's what's your take on it mm, it smells good though No. Mm -mm. to Saint Luna. Uh Guys, I'm back home. <laughs> I'm back home. Uh, my shopping, my shopping, <laughs> where can I call it? My shopping escapade was a bit dramatic. I had to go to, there's this one dress that I wanted um, with the flowers. I don't know if I showed you guys on the vlog. Um, it was stunning, but uh, I like I fitted a 10. And I was like, you know what, maybe I need a 16. And the 16 wasn't there at Canal Walk. So I went all the way to Waterfront. And when I got there, the 16 was fitting, but it was not like as nice. I don't know how to explain it. It just didn't make sense. So I then went back to Canal Walk to go get the other dress that I wanted because Waterfront didn't have the size. It was a lot, but I ended up getting some stuff. I'll show you, I think in the next vlog guys because i honestly have to end this vlog and over and above that actually i don't know if this is trauma like my husband and i were talking about this i don't know if this is trauma for me or what but like i love free stuff like if someone is gonna give me free stuff i'm i'm gonna take it and especially for like since poetry was like no we're gonna dress you i'm just like obviously i was gonna have to find an outfit and drive all the way there so there's a lot of expenditure on my part and when brands like this uh 
when brands like offer to to do stuff for you it's, it's quite nice it's actually really nice so when i got to the shop i was excited i was like oh my god i have like you know i can pick whatever i want it was exciting but i was just like when it was like time for me to pick stuff i kind of was just like no <laughs> why why am i like why am i picking so many things like i started there's like there's balela i'm almost like scared to take the stuff but like also like they are giving me the stuff it's actually so weird but it's probably trauma but uh before i go to sleep guys and end this vlog Asun is unfortunately going back to work and i'm gonna make him some ravioli I'm going to make him some ravioli. Let me show you. I'm going to be using this creamy spinach and ricotta sauce. Uh, this is a three minute meal. So it's not too much. My husband is not abusing me that much. So uh, we're going to do this very, very quickly so that he can get something to eat because I had Nando's and he didn't want to have Nando's. He wanted to have this. So let's do that. Guys, here's the style of the show. Tastes delicious. Looks weird, but it's so good. But anyway, guys, good night.